Alright guys, welcome back and in this video I am going to show you how to use shell scripts. Now shell scripts are just a bunch of commands that you can type into a file and then you can run them just like you would whenever you were running them in a terminal. And this is really good for things that you find yourself doing over and over and over again. So say that you always had to, I don't know, for some reason make a new file and then rename it and then like move it to a new directory. Well, all you have to do is type all those commands into a shell script and then you can run it whenever you want. So I'll show you guys the basics of it. And by the way, if you notice that my system's a little bit different, I'm actually using my computer that I was, uh, it's a Kali distribution, and I was working on my Wi-Fi security videos, but I was like, eh, might as well make some Linux videos. So the first thing that you need to do, and you can do this in any text editor, so just open up whatever one you feel like, it's all the same. So you use the pound sign, the number sign, whatever you want to call it, exclamation, what's it called, exclamation mark, forward bin, forward sh. Now what this command does is it just says whenever we're running this file, run these commands in the shell. So just like you were typing in the terminal. And these little pound signs, by the way, you can include them, they're comments if you're familiar with programming. So anything you type after on any of these lines, they're just going to be ignored. So they're pretty much just for other people. And you can write little notes to yourself and be like, this program is going to be awesome. Whatever it does. Actually, let's say that this program is, uh, we'll print stuff out on the screen. So this program displays stuff uh, in a directory. All right, so now all we have to do is you can run anything that we would usually type into a terminal. So let me just echo something out first. And remember, this just displays whatever you write in the terminal, plain text. And I'll just write uh, program is starting dot, dot, dot. And now let's just run a simple command like ls minus la. Why not? So we just have to save this as let me save it on my desktop and let me move this so you guys can see all right so come on keyboard so I'm just gonna save it as Bucky save that beast right there and we got some nice cool coloring because Linux is aware that okay this is a shell script and now let me show you guys how to run this All right, looks good. And let me minimize this. It might be a little bit easier to see. So let me move over to my desktop. And you can see that, all right, so this is the file right here. And right now, on Kali, you're running as root by default. But if you're not, then let's say you're on Ubuntu or something running as a regular user, just change the permissions on this so you can actually execute it. So plus Rx and file so change the permissions on this so you can execute it if you know whatever permissions you have you can now in order to run this all you do is write bash and then the name of the file and that's it so hit enter and it's gonna do whatever we told the program to do so the first thing we said is program is starting just echo that out and then we ran ls minus la which essentially just prints everything out, you know, in that directory, nothing new we saw before. So you can see the use of this already. I mean, if you have a common task that you like find yourself typing the same five things over and over and over again, then well, put it in a shell script and then you got one line and it's golden.